Hey everybody, you ever have one of those brushes that you kind of forgot to clean and it's hard as a rock and you think it's ready for the trash bin? Uh, this has actually a bonding primer stuck to it. It's Dixie Belle Slick Stick and it had been on here for months. I just found this brush and I thought I was going to have to throw it away. But I decided to save it. I'm going to be using Dixie Belle's new Clean as a Whistle Brush Cleaner. Now this is a non-toxic uh, cleaner. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. What you do is, since this brush is really bad, I'm going to be doing it full concentrate. I'm not adding any water. So you put it in a glass dish, um, not a plastic cup, a solo cup, uh, anything plastic because the oils that are in the cleaner could eat through the plastic. So you do want to use a glass jar or a metal bowl. And as you can see, this is after just 12 hours. It's already pulling that bonding primer right out of those bristles. Now this is 24 hours. I pull it out and it's loosened a lot of that paint or a lot of that primer. So I'm now going to, one-handed, I am going to be using a wire brush and I'm pulling out all that loose paint that is starting to release from the bristles. You can see it kind of looks like little flecks. Um, so I'm using the wire brush to pull those flecks out of the bristles. And I'm going to continue to work my way through this brush. And you can see that it's pulling out big chunks of the bonding primer. And br bonding primer, I have to tell you, is the hardest thing to get out of a brush. So this is a true testament as to how great this cleaner is. So I'm sitting there using my wire brush and I'm pulling out all those little bits. I'm going to flip it over and do both sides. And um, the, <laughs> my wire brush is, could be in better condition, but this is all I had. And I'm going to rinse it out just to see where I'm at. Now the outside of the brush is doing really, really well, but I still have to get in the center of the brush. So I'm rinsing out the cleaner, like I said, just to see where I'm at with this. And then I'm going to continue to keep brushing it, um, working the centers, the sides, and everything else. So I will keep working that, prod uh, those, that loose bits of primer out of the bristles. Here we go. I'm going to continue to keep brushing it. Now this, like I said, this has been, uh, my brush had been soaking in this cleaner now for a uh, little over 24 hours. Mostly if you're using this regular paint, um, you won't have to soak it for that long. But like I said, this is a bonding primer. This is the toughest thing that you can leave on a brush because it is bonded to the bristles. Um, so I'm going to continue to keep working that paint out of the brush. And the cleaner actually softens the paint and helps it release. And that's the great thing. You can see all those little flecks where the, it is actually separated from the bristles. See that? So I'm going to continue to brush it. And then I'm actually going to be putting it back into my container and soaking it for a little bit longer. But right now I'm trying to get everything loosened up so that, that the cleaner can keep working its magic on the areas that were stuck together before. So I'm going to continue to soak this. Okay, now it's been close to thir uh, 36 hours that this has been soaking, and you can see now that after I brushed it, most of that uh, primer, that bonding primer slick stick, has been removed from the brush. Um, I had been using also dipping my craft brushes in there and using that solution to, to clean my craft brushes in between as well, but uh, it's coming out very easily now using that wire brush, getting it off the tips of my bristles and I am so happy with how this is turning out. So I continue to, to brush it and then rinse it, rinse it really well. You wanna get that cleaner out. Now it will have somewhat of an oily feeling. Um, that is the conditioner, the oils that are in the cleaner. Okay, and I can see a few of the bristles still have some of that slick stick left on there. So I'm just gonna to continue to comb that out because it's softened and so it, it will brush out of the bristles. So I'm just continuing to brush wherever I see any of that product or that primer left behind. And like I said, this is the same process that you would use for a brush that's been soaking in your paint for a long period of time as well. So I'm just brushing out those last little bits that I'm finding on the bristles and getting it loosened up and rinsing it off. Okay, look at the flexibility it's brought back to my bristles. I would not have been able to bend this the way I am doing it right now. Um, it's brought that flexibility back to the bristles. It's softened the bristles. Uh, this lo looks and feels practically brand new. So, I mean, look at the flexibility there. 
I was not able to do that before. Next, if I want to get, you don't have to do this, but if you want to get that oily residue or that conditioner off of the bristles, if that bothers you, I just take a little bit of scrubby soap or you can use some Dawn dishwashing liquid. Um, make sure that you rinse it really well if you're using Dawn. Um, but I'm just washing out the cleaner using my scrubby soap and giving it a good rinse and my brush is gonna be back to almost brand new. Okay, now I've rinsed off all of that cleaner because I don't want any of that cleaning residue left behind. I've cleaned out all of that scrubby soap and given it a little pat with my towel or you can use a paper towel and getting some of that excess water out of there and I'm gonna hang it dry um, facing down so my bristles are towards the sink. I'll hang it dry through a little hook and that's it. Look at how nice that brush looks. It's nice and soft, very flexible. I am thrilled.